got out of my tent and the usual thing I do every morning is of course I pray and I do my daily devotion so I'm off right now to the beach to write my journal and also to pray and I'm so fortunate that today is a very wonderful day every day is for me I will show you um, what this place looks like in the morning Waking up to this kind of morning is just way too awesome and I'm loving it, I'm loving this kind of experience but of course the downside, it's my actually my fourth day now of traveling alone and the downside is that being alone is kind of feeling sad because I have nobody to talk to, I have nobody to hang out with. Traveling alone is also a survival thing. <laughs> I uh, don't recommend you guys to travel alone so if you want to travel um, don't risk yourself try traveling with somebody else but if you're a tough guy like me then travel alone try it it's also the one, one of the best things you could ever do with your life come here buddy no okay keep ignoring me huh Walking out of the hotel now, I mean the uh, Mickey Monkey Beach, and I'm gonna go for a walk. I'm gonna try to explore what this place has to offer me. Yeah, because I don't want to just stuck in my place. I just don't want to stuck in the Mickey Monkey Beach hotel. I, well, I was on my way to the hostel. I saw like a street food kind of thing where they sell cheap kinds of pad thai, coffee smoothies so I'm gonna check that out today and that's kind of far from here like it takes kilometers of walking before I can go and reach there so yep walking is exercise that's myself walking Mart and everything here is very expensive because this place is a place for tourists. They tend to overprice everything. A bottle of water costs 100 pounds. That's like pure life. A bottle of water, 18. Yeah, I'm not gonna tell you all the prices they have here, but they are overpriced and it sucks. Let's try this eatery out here. Hi. You have rice? Can I see your menu? Thank you. Fried rice, your fried rice. There's mama drunk noodles. How much is how much is this? 80. 80. Okay. Okay, here you go. Thank you so much. Thai restaurants, even the smallest ones like the eatery or street food, they have the best marketing strategy in the world. <laughs> well, they have the menu, but they do not put the price. It's like they uh, tend to change the prices of the food they offer for locals and for foreigners. So for locals, Maybe they give it for the original price, the cheapest one. But when it's the foreigners who are asking for it, the price, then maybe of course they change it. They, they charge higher than the uh, normal price. That's I think the best strategy, uh, marketing strategy. Uh, 
I don't know, but they always try to do that here in Thailand, in Phuket, Thailand. And uh, that's one thing I uh, don't like about it here. In case of earthquake, go to high ground or inland because this place is a tsunami hazard zone. Let's go check out this place here. This is like open for public beach. I just want to see what's on the other side of this place. Well, this beach is connected to the beach, to Maikau Beach, where I'm staying. If you just walk straight over there, then you will uh, reach my place. Here's the island where I'm staying. I don't live in the civilization anymore, and I don't know what year it is now. Uh, I think I'm the first one who came here and uh, I'm all alone. I'm not stranded but I think I'm the first person created. So if you guys are watching this, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I was taking some selfies right in there in the beach because there are no people. I have the confidence to do whatever I want with my selfies but suddenly Chinese people came. Uh, they're everywhere in the world. <laughs> They're invading the whole countries all over the world. After an hour of walking, now I'm back to my resort. I'm all dark, also brown, because of the sun, but I don't give a damn. Yeah, so it's 12 o'clock noon now, and I'm supposed to have my check out in this resort. But I'm gonna ask them if I can check out at around 6 or 7 later because my flight tonight is around 11 and if I go to the airport right now I have nowhere to go to after this I don't want to spend much money traveling around here because I have other uh, places to visit like Chiang Mai, Cambodia and Vietnam and I don't have enough fun I have to save my money uh, I don't want to stay my whole afternoon and evening in the airport so I'm going to ask them if I can check out at around 6 or 7 so, hoping for the best. Alright, so after that long walk I took a while ago, I have taken a shower already and I'm just packing up all my things. Look at them. Yep. Mm -hmm. And I'm ready to go to the airport. See you at the airport. And just arrived in the airport and I have I have a flight to catch at 11.40 tonight from Phuket to Bangkok and then with um, lay over there for like 5 hours or 6 hours because early morning tomorrow I'm flying from Bangkok to Chiang Mai. I just have to say thank you to Maikau Beach for letting me overstay in their place because I'm supposed to check out at around 12 noon but I stayed until 5 o'clock and they uh, let me do that without any charges. So thank you so much, Mickey Monkey Beach. And uh, if you guys want to have a beautiful sunset in Phuket, uh, Thailand, you gotta go to Mickey Monkey Beach as well because, you know, they have lots of things to give you and all of the people in Mickey Monkey Beach are so kind. They'll give you the best help they can ever give you. Even though they don't speak much English, they will try to understand what you're looking for and then help the enemy. And yeah, <laughs> I just got distracted because the lady over there was looking at me. But anyway, yeah, so I have a flight to catch tonight. So I'm pretty much like gonna stay here for like one, two, three, four, five hours. So while I'm staying here for five hours, I'm just gonna do my journal, gonna do some writing, gonna do some things I need to, to put on my journal and uh, I have two journals actually, one for my daily trips or my daily happenings in life, the uh, experiences that I should not forget, and another journal is the Bible journal. The Bible journal, I have to say that out loud, I need to be not ashamed about that. I'm at the Phuket airport right now, catching the sunset, and it's totally amazing. You guys need to check this out. Lights will go. right now um, I 
Actually, I was about to sleep, but I felt the need to vlog myself about this because, you know, just to add some content for the videos and the daily vlogs I'm making. I left the uh, hostel today at around 6 p.m. and I was about to catch the uh, 11.40 flight only to find out that the flight is delayed and instead of 11.40 it was changed into 2.40, 2.30, I'm not sure so yeah, good thing the flight that I'm catching tomorrow from Bangkok to Phuket is around 6 a.m. and from Phuket to Bangkok I'm arriving at 4 10 a.m. so there's no problem at all and originally if I arrived in in Bangkok without any delays I'm gonna be there around 1 a.m. Bangkok time and I'm gonna have my sleep over there wait for the next flight in the morning well they're in the mornings so it's just same good thing there's no conflicts with the flight schedules and yeah for right now while I'm waiting for the, my flight going to Bangkok I found myself a good place to vlog in and gonna have some uh, a little bit of rest take a nap while waiting for my next flight